Alright guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. The Thargoids are at it once again, attacking the home of humanity. In specific, they are attacking a whole bunch of different stations, causing havoc, damage, and burning. And therefore, the NPCs of the galaxy are requiring the assistance of players. Now, this can take a number of forms. For example, there's a rather large mega ship here which has come under Thargoid Assault. And if you do come out this way and drop into this particular instance, you'll be offered a mission to fight off the Thargoid Scouts, which are hovering around here, causing a little bit of disruption. Well, perhaps that's an understatement, judging by the amount of damage done here. But yes, it's something you might want to get involved in. Now this is in the Maya system in the Pleiades star cluster and it's a Sanchez class mega ship. You can of course come out here and fight these on your own or if you want you can come out here in a wing and take them on with a group. Now those of us who have been playing Elite Dangerous for a while now will certainly have seen all of this before. But judging by the recent player stats, there's certainly a lot of new players out there, so without a doubt, many of you will never have seen this, as Thargoids haven't attacked space stations for quite a few months now. In just a few moments, we'll take a look at the galaxy map, and I'll show you how you can find the star systems which have come under Thargoid Assault, and therefore you'll be able to come out this way and join in. And again, here we are with the mission I was talking about, up in the top left comms panel, you can actually interact with that message, and choose to accept the call for help there. Now, this entire region is pretty much locked down by Thargoids. As you're traveling around, you'll see a whole bunch of unknown signal sources, which generally resolve to non-human signal sources. And if you're either lucky or perhaps unlucky, depending on how you look at it, you may get hyperdicted as well. That is, traveling through hyperspace and pulled out into the middle of nowhere as the Thargoids want to give you a bit of a scan and see what you're up to. So then, you're keen to get involved with the conflict, but how do you go about it? We'll jump into the galaxy map, head on over to the uh, filters here, and you can enable or disable or whichever ones you need. Probably these are already enabled if you haven't actually disabled them previously. But the ones you want are the red icons here, the show damaged starports. Now there's three damaged starports in the Pleiades star cluster, and another three over in the Witchhead Nebula. The Witchhead Nebula is quite a bit further away, so if you've only got a low jump range, you may not want to go out all that way. But if you're already out there, then it's a good option. Now here, this is in the Pleiades star cluster, and in the ring system is a Coriolis starport. Now, this isn't the first time that Artemis Lodge has come under attack by the Thargoids. It was damaged before and then repaired, but unfortunately, it seems to have been targeted again. Now, from the outside, it appears as though there's not a whole lot of damage. Aside from the, uh, around the docking hatch there, you can see the ring, the toaster rack, as people call it, has been a little bit damaged, and you can see the alert lights inside. But as for the outside structure, the superstructure, it seems in perfectly a tip-top condition. Inside, meanwhile, it's a very different story, with the red alerts going on and some structural damage, as well as a lot of flames. Now, when you're inside here, you do have to watch out as it's very easy to bash into some of the loose debris here. Also, it's very, very easy to overheat. It's basically like an oven in here, a bit of a furnace, and your ship will cook very, very quickly. So you either need a cool running ship, or I'll just bring with you a few heat sinks, and you'll be good to go. When you're inside the station's end, the station services, missions, and things like that don't work as usual, but we get to that in a few more minutes, so bear with me. But before we talk about that, I just want to have a look at a few more stations in the region. Again, this station has come under attack, and yet again, you can see there's not really any damage from the outside. And this really is in stark contrast to how damaged stations appeared previously. This station right here is Titan's Daughter, and this is how it appeared when that came under attack. As you can see, the external superstructure is highly damaged, and there's a lot of burning fire out here. Now, to be perfectly fair, I am using a graphics mod, I believe at this point. I think I was using a graphics mod, but all that would control is the colour of the light in here, or the colour of the tones on the screen. It certainly wouldn't add in assets such as damaged superstructure or flames. Now this is the current time in the Atlas star system and it's an Orbis station. 
Now there is some super structural damage here, particularly if one of the pods is on fire. We'll get a close up view of that. It looks in pretty poor shape. The ring is also damaged and you can see there's some fairly small flames going on there. So these things are certainly worth checking out if you've never seen them before because seeing damaged stations is, well, it's pretty interesting to say the least. But I've got to say that, uh, again, the assets seem to have been changed here. This is an Orbis station that came under attack previously and you can see the flames and the damage is a little different, particularly on the ring. The flames appear to me at least to be far larger. I don't know what's going on there. I have reached out to Frontier, but as yet haven't received a response. So I really don't know if this is an intended change or a bug, but I do know other people have experienced it and I have seen one or two other people said it has happened before and that it was a bug, but this is a new one on me. Now, here we are inside one of the stations, and if you actually want to help out here, such as evacuating passengers, then you will need to outfit your ship with passenger cabins. I only put a few passenger cabins in here, but if you do this, you're bound to pick up these refugee missions, and all of these people are looking to be evacuated to the nearby megaship. Um, one other thing you're bound to do here is to bring in essential commodities that the station's in need of. Just come to the commodities market and sell whatever they're after here. Liquid oxygen, water, clothing, evacuation shelters. In short, all the essentials that you'd expect to be needed in such a crisis situation. Now this is the rescue ship near Copernicus and it's where you're going to want to deliver the rescued passengers if you pick some up from Copernicus. And again, if you're collecting passengers from other stations, then you'll need to take them to the relevant megaship in turn. So there's a reasonable amount of credits to be made from this, not excessive millions of credits, but certainly a decent amount. And ultimately, a lot of people don't do this for money, they do it because it's a well, different gameplay. It's something that they may not have experienced before, or alternatively, it's something that they enjoy getting involved in. So there we have it. The Thargoids are once again acting pretty aggressive and causing a fair amount of damage out there. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.